Well, hello there. Oh, whoa. 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 Wow. Oh, man. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here. And as you saw there, we just spotted a diamond potential kudu, level 5 medium kudu. I was down in here hunting for lions. Had no clue that guy was on my map. Happened during the stream. Um, have you ever spotted a diamond animal that didn't have its zone? And no matter how hard you tried, you could not find its zone. Those are the elusive diamonds. They are tough. Uh, I tried several different things on this kudu. And it was the last thing that I tried that actually worked. And it was the thing I didn't want to do, but sometimes you have no choice. So I'm going to go through the strategies of how to hunt diamonds like this without having a zone to go by. So let's go over some of these things. Um, this one was very elusive. I never got it zoned, even when I killed it. Um, I still didn't have it zoned. Still don't know for sure which zone it was using. I came in during rest time, uh, right at the end of line drink time. Um, so it was after 1530 I was in here looking. It was closer to 1600 when I saw this guy. Um, so let's go over some of the things that helped us develop the strategy. First, let's look at what possibly scared this thing off. All right, as you can see here, this thing is 227 meters away. So it being beyond 200 meters, I doubt that it heard me or saw me. I don't think I scared it off. Next, let's look, let's look at the wind. The wind is basically in my face, so it never smelled me. It couldn't have smelled me, so what could have possibly scared this thing off? Now, I believe that this is the culprit. We had a lion walking out, and two seconds later, and a little to the left, our kudu came flying out. So I think the lion scared it off, and why it came running over toward me, I don't know. That's what confused me about this whole thing, which also led me into believing that it was drinking somewhere on the other side of the lake. So it wasn't really even close to drink time, but I got to thinking that that's the part of the lake that it would maybe be hanging out on. But you never know. I once killed a Roosevelt elk on Layton that would spawn up by the North Lake in Norton and walk to the South Lake in Norton. So they don't always drink where you see them at during rest time or feed time. But how do we know it was fleeing? Well, right here, look at this. We can see the word fleeing right there, and that's your points in spotting knowledge when you use your perks and skills and things. You can see these things when you spot animals. So had it said traveling calm, then we could have probably just stayed back and tracked it to its zone. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case in this situation. Now, I messed up because I spotted the Cape Buffalo that was attacking me right after I'd spotted the Kudu. I shouldn't have spotted anything else. If that Kudu had been the last thing that I spotted, I could have left his tracks highlighted and I could have backtracked him and found out where he came from because the zones that I guessed that he was using later was incorrect. I tried several attempts to come in here. You see me walking around now. This is during drink time and I'm trying to spot all these kudu and I never do spot him, the five medium. I spot some threes, maybe a, a four that wasn't a max weight or something, but never spotted a max weight here. And when I came during the rest times, never saw him there either. Tried uh, two different setups, streamed it, and here you see me getting attacked by a mythical red. That comes back to haunt me later, as you'll see later on in the video, but anyway, I couldn't find the tracks so because I had spotted this cake buffalo, I went back, tried to backtrack, and there were so many springbok and other animals, other kudu running around, lions, cave, everything. I couldn't pick up the track. For whatever reason, the track was not going to light up for me. Couldn't find it. So I couldn't backtrack him then. But I did end up backtracking him later, but I wasn't for sure if it was him or not. Uh, I come across his track here in a minute uh, as I was exploring here. Never did see him. And I had to assume that it was him. 
All I know is that it was a max weight, so I said, okay, we're going to treat it like it's coming. I tracked him where he was going to, but unfortunately I had spooked him because I found that after I first found his track, it said run. So if it had said walk, I would have known that I didn't spook him. But because it said run, I came in here and flushed him out. So I said, well, it's not going to do me any good to track where he's going because he's just running from me. He's not. He was probably coming into this water here to drink. And I just did an educated guess and, and, and guessed which uh, drink zone he was probably going to use. Ended up guessing right. Uh, sometimes that's all you have to go on as a guess, but I'm going to share my what I did, uh, and this way you can use this with any animal. Try to track them to their zone, especially if you didn't cause them to flee. Now, if you did cause them to flee, then backtrack. See what zone they come from. You might backtrack them to their feed zone or rest zone that they were in before they came uh, to drink or whatever zone they're going to. It's important to know those times as well. Uh, so if you have those charts, Aaron has made those charts. I have them in my Discord. It tells the drink times, the feed times, rest times, and all that. So anyway, I tried several different uh, rest times and things. Never could find them. Finally, I did this drink time. We came in here and got on his track. As you can see here, we're tracking him right now. Um, and I track him for a long time. I'm not going to include all of that in this video but I do track him for a long time. Comes up with nothing, but because of that, when I start backtracking him, I don't get the zone that he come from, but I backtracked him for a good ways, and then I just couldn't find any more tracks. But that gave me the direction that he was walking to this water uh, from. So then I was like, okay, let's find a good high knob, put a tripod up there, and let's go and sit and wait on it. So I said, okay, when is drink time? And I think drink time was zero to 400 for Kudu, if I remember that correctly. And what I did was I changed it to, I think, maybe 2330 or something like that. Uh, because I wanted to be there 30 minutes before he got there so that I could watch him come in. So that, that's the big trick. Um, if you can't find the zone, guess at where you think he's drinking, or where you think he's going to rest, or something like that, whatever zone. A lot of times your hunch is correct. So what I did is I guessed, but the best thing about it was that I had a long field of view, and I said, if he's coming to this lake, and if he comes in the way he came in the last time, I'm going to see him. So that, that is what how I did it. I, did, I set a tripod up. I got up on a knob. Where are you at? Is that you? What the crap? Oh. Can you believe that? I don't find out where he's drinking. Where I'm just going to assume that. All right, zip it. You, you can't even zip it. Zip. Look, all ladies I'm... and gentlemen of the jury, exhibit A. Number two, would you please back Look, me up? Look, I'm Zippy Longstockings. Ugh, I can't when a problem comes along. You must zip it. Zip it good. Frau, would you please do hype in the wall? Mita Hiyoto. Subtitle, zip it. I'm just trying zip. to... Zip. Would you like to have a suckle of my zipper? I want zip. you... Stop. Zip. 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 You know what? Zip. Zip. You're like a child. Talking. If you just one time. Thanks for that, corpse. Corpse knew I was getting ready to go on a big rant. I had to include that. That never gets old. The Twitch sound alerts are amazing. And thanks to Corpse Kill Gaming for playing that at the right time. He knew I was getting ready to go on a big rant, you know, complaining about my luck and all that. So I honor the zip it when it happens, and we honored it there. So I keep on tracking this guy and eventually I say, okay, we're gonna backtrack. We're gonna find out where he's going. I set up on that knob and I will leave you with that footage and you can see how we finally got him. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about some more good luck we had. So I'm going through here and I'm developing my plan. I'm gonna go back, you know, I'm gonna play it cool and 
we're going to track, and I keep hearing this lion, you know, and I'm like, eh, there's nothing big, nothing going on here, so I just ignore it, and I keep on going, because surely, I'm not going to get killed by a cave, and then all of a sudden get mangled by a lion, right? Wrong. And in case you were wondering, lions are a one-hit kill, so keep that in mind, lion gets loud, get away. So we're set up on the tripod, up on this knob, and we should be able to see anything that walks in to the lake. And as you can see, we got in here 30 minutes before, they're starting to trickle in. Some come in earlier, some later. And as we look around, there's just all kind of animal activity. So change your time 30 minutes before if you don't have the zone, and you'll probably catch them coming in if you don't know exactly where they're going to be drinking. I'll leave you with it. Come on. Uh oh. This is the direction. There he is. There he is. Just like that. We figured it out. <laughs> wow. Could we? Well, I'm just glad that we figured it out. You know? This one was a, he was a smart one. All right, so what do we think? What do we think? Did I go through all this trouble to get trolled? Oh, he made it. 153.2. So there you have it, guys. I couldn't tell you how many times I've spotted a diamond potential animal and it's fleeing and running off, and then you have a headache of trying to figure out where is its zone. Sometimes you just cannot find the zone. If you can't, use an educated guess, closest water source, change the drink time. You may have to try three or four different lakes. In this case, I was pretty sure it was this lake because there's no other water even close around. So we got pretty lucky on that. Our guess paid off. So that's what to do. Change the time 30 minutes before. If you like the content, please drop us a like and a sub and head on over to Twitch and give us a follow. Thanks for watching.